Welcome back to the Thousand Lies Getting Started series. This is Topic 5 on Dashboards. We'll cover what you need to know to deploy operational dashboards within Thousand Eyes. The dashboard is a tool that helps teams understand real-time data trends, providing views for the status of tests, agents, and other relevant information. It utilizes customizable widgets to present data in a visual format, such as graphs, diagrams, charts, maps, and more, enabling users to understand this information quickly and easily. One great use case for the dashboard is in a NOC or Network Operations Center. By displaying the dashboard on a screen 24 by 7, a team can monitor important statistics in real time. The dashboard automatically refreshes every two minutes. There are 14 customizable widgets available on the dashboard, and users can also embed these widgets into their own monitoring systems using HTML iframes. By utilizing a variety of widgets, users can access their monitoring data in a way that best fits their needs. To start, let's explore the basic user interface. In the top left corner, there's a drop-down menu where you can access all available dashboards. On the right side, you'll find filtering and grouping options. By hovering your mouse cursor over an item's name, you can obtain additional information about whether it is a built-in dashboard, migrated from a report, or shared by someone else. Next to the drop-down menu, there's a small circular icon that indicates the dashboard's data refresh interval, which is set to every two minutes. The circle displays a countdown and a blue bar that fills up, indicating when the next refresh will occur. The time period displayed on the dashboard can be adjusted. There are two options, relative or fixed time. You can select different time intervals such as one hour, two hour, or view all data within a specified date or time range. Next to that is an override button. When you create a widget, you can set a specific time interval for that widget. However, it's possible that different widgets have been created with varying time settings. The override button allows you to play a unified time interval for all the widgets by configuring it in this section. For example, if you want to view data for the last six hours in all widgets, you can change the interval and click the override button. There's also a snapshot button, which allows you to save a single snapshot or to schedule snapshots. You can provide a name for the snapshot and choose privacy options to anonymize data that may reveal user's identity. Additionally, there is a share option that generates a public share link for the snapshot once you save it. Next to the Snapshot button, there's a Download icon. The dashboard can be downloaded in CSV and PDF format. Click on Add Widgets at the top, and you can see the available widgets to add. You can click the three dots to edit the dashboard. The description allows you to write a quick description of the dashboard. View settings allow us to set this dashboard as private or to provide access to other users or account groups. You can also set the default time interval and override options. Let's talk about widgets now. The Alert List widget displays alerts that are currently active or were active within a specified period of time. Active alerts have an orange dot present on the left-hand side and their duration displayed in orange. Alert type can be configured via setting. The Agent Status widget displays agents that belong to your account group or have been shared with your account group on a global map. Locations are determined by geolocation database lookup of the agent's IP address or by using country and region settings on the agent. This provides a good way to quickly assess the status of your agents. Next is a stack bar chart. This is a useful widget for composite metric data, such as HTTP response or fetch time, and for comparing values between multiple tests or to sort data on a per country basis. Bars can also be oriented vertically as columns. The color grid displays an array of cards where each card's color is determined by comparing the value to a predefined scale. This is an example of HTTP server availability for multiple agents. The status is presented in color so you can understand any performance impacts quickly. Number cards allow you to display performance metric data using dynamic numerical values and status colors, such as the availability for an HTTP server showing 100% in green. With an HTTP server availability test and utilizing this widget, you can know the server's status at a quick glance. The status is presented in color based on predefined values, making it easy to understand. This widget, for example, shows HTTP services availability from three agents in different locations. Monitoring remote users is another good use for this widget. This organization here had multiple remote users. There are three users in different cities. The card shows the hardware stats of the remote machines such as CPU and memory. Local network statistics like gateway latency and loss are also displayed. With this information, you can easily determine if the problem is local to a machine, on the user's home network, or somewhere along the path to the application. The next is a multi-metric table. If you want to see various metrics in one view, you can use this type of table. Here's an example. 
This table is created for five agents, which are monitoring an HTTP server. You can break down the details of metrics like availability and response time in a single widget. Now let's take a look at a dashboard example. This dashboard was designed to keep an eye on a specific SaaS application, in this case, Salesforce. The example company has branches worldwide, and Salesforce is a vital tool for their productivity and revenue generation. Any issues here can directly impact their business. Salesforce page load tests have been created and assigned to agents in each branch. Let's explore how we can monitor Salesforce using the data collected by ThousandEyes. The first widget gives an overview of Salesforce's performance over the last 24 hours. It's an average value from tests run on all agents. The number cards show the health status of each metric. Administrators can quickly see if there are any issues to investigate. The color codes are customizable based on the scale defined in the settings. For instance, if the average DOM load time should be under 3 seconds, the card color can change if it goes over that, prompting investigation. The location-based availability widget indicates whether all branches can access Salesforce. Colors signify issues, and hovering over an agent's location provides availability information. Availability metrics can also be shown using the color grid widget. We can track load time metrics directly related to site performance. The total time is the time taken for the initial phases like DNS, TCP, and SSL. DOM load time is the transaction time from the beginning of the first object load to the end of the final object load. And finally, page load time is the time from the initial request to full page rendering, including redirect time. With these three widgets offering the necessary timelines for the service, we can monitor most of the important stats and understand service performance across locations. We can create widgets for comparing performance as well. Performance isn't just about user experience, but also about productivity. If there's something we can do for a specific location, like changing an ISP or connection, we can make decisions based on the data from ThousandEyes. Additionally, comparing total times helps us understand different networking performances based on agent locations. And that's an overview of dashboards and widgets within ThousandEyes. Thanks for watching.